I don't know how long this is going to take, but I'm going to be cutting 8th inch steel at 100 inches per minute. I'm cutting a bunch of um, air rifle targets, and this is out of mild steel. I wouldn't want to do this with, uh, you know, like ammunition and stuff like that, but where they're air powered rifles, I'm not worried about them. And we had cut some samples previously, and they seem to be holding up all right. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and cut this out now. I just spent the last 15 minutes grinding the dross off of these, mostly on the back side. I fill up my water table, excuse me, with probably within a half an inch or so, or less than the uh, top over the plate rests. And so the dross does stick, but it, it knocks off real easy. You just kind of have to glance over it with the grinder. I had a little piece on the ear of this and I just picked it off with my finger to give you an idea. Some of it's a little bit more stubborn, but it's generally all right. So there's five of the, uh, I guess, what are these, groundhogs? Um, some spinners, two rabbits, and a bird spinner. I think the bottom's a little big on those. Um, three rabbits, fox, two crows, a squirrel. I whacked the tail off the squirrel because it was really huge and just took up extra plate. Um, these are all the pieces to set the, the little birds and the, the mice on. I took the tail off the mouse because I'm afraid it would get a shot off anyway, kind of like maybe... I don't know how well that will hold up on this bird, for instance. And now, uh, and then a bunch of small spinners. I need to bend those. And some medium spinners. And then uh, what I'll need to do is um, weld some of these to a, a base plate. Mm -hmm. 